A nice feature of the calendar is that you can set, uh, set start, do, and end dates for content within the calendar tool. You can also edit start, end, and due dates for calendar events that are already within the calendar. To get to the calendar, click on the calendar tab on the nav bar. To set dates for content, click the set dates button. What will appear is all of the list of all the content within the course. If you wish to set date for an entire module, now keep in mind that this will place all the topics within the module and sub-modules onto the calendar. So let's say I want to set the My Courses I, uh, tutorials. I click on the radio button next to it. I click Add. You can add a description if you want. To set a start date, end date, or due date, you click on the No Due Date, No Start Date, or No End Date. I'll click on the No Start Date. And then if I want, I can click in the, in the date field to put a new date in there. I can click in the, in the time field, change the time. But you can also actually type right in it if you want. To set an end date, you can click on that, set an end date, and again, click in the time field to do that. When you're all done, click Save. And that will add that entire module to the calendar. So if I go to the next seven days, you'll see there's the My Courses calendar in the agenda view with links to all of the topics within that. If you wish to set a date for an individual content or module, um, again, click the Set Dates. Then let's say I'm going to go ahead and click on the name of the module. If I have sub-modules in there, I can click on the name of a sub-module. And now, if I want, um, if you want to add a date, you click on the radio button next to that date and click Add, just like you did before. And if I click Add, and if I click on the start date, today's date will appear, and I can change it if I want and click Save on that. What's kind of interesting is that if I do this, and let's go in here, if there are dates that are already on um, a content item, I can click on the radio button and click Add. And then I can actually edit the dates there. Now, to edit dates, it's best to be in the month view. So I'm going to click on month view. I can see all the dates. I click on an event. I click Edit. I can put in a description or mess around with that. And now I can edit the start date or end date or add one if I want or delete one and just click save when you're all done and it will change the date and it'll move it to the appropriate day on the month view of the calendar.